Hi, John here. In this video, we're going to look at the dry type transformer, the hermetic type transformer, and the conservator type transformer. We're going to look at the transformer components, such as the core and windings, and then we're going to look at some of the other components that you're likely to see, such as the bushings, gas actuated relay, temperature thermometer, and the dehydrator breather. So let's get stuck right in and we can start by looking at the heart of the transformer, which is the transformer core. So here we have a 3D model of a transformer core. We'll do a little spin. As you can see, this core has three limbs and these three limbs indicate to us that this is a three-phase transformer. The top and the bottom of the transformer core are known as the yoke, and these three pieces in the middle are known as the limbs. Each limb correlates to one phase of the transformer. The core itself is clamped together, usually using adhesive or some straps. If we look on the bottom here, we can actually see there are three straps, it's these items here, and you'll see there's also straps on the other side. One, two, three. So the transformer core is clamped together, and the reason it's clamped together is because the core is not one solid block of metal. It's actually a series of metal sheets that have been clamped together. You'll actually call these laminate steel sheets. You can see on the side here that we've got these straight lines. These straight lines indicate to us that the sheets are of a different geometry. And as you've clamped them together, you get this wavy pattern. If we can see, I'll move over to another limb. We can also see it over here. And that's because the core is not perfectly cylindrical. Now the reason that we clamp these very thin laminate sheets together is because we want to reduce the hysteresis and the eddy current losses. So we'll clamp all of the metal sheets together to form a limb and then we'll clamp the metal sheet pieces together to form the yokes. That is to say the top and the bottom of the transformer core. Now each of the sheets is insulated from its neighbour and the reason we do this is because we want to completely insulate or isolate each of these metal sheets in order that we reduce the eddy current and hysteresis losses. When we have electrical current flowing through the windings and the windings wrap around each one of these limbs then we create an electromagnetic field and the core is going to become magnetised. The job of the core is to direct this magnetic field in order that we can get a high magnetic field density or magnetic flux. So that's what the core is doing. So we've got our limbs, one, two, three. We've got the yokes at the top and the bottom of the core. And the core itself consists of very thin steel laminations that have been clamped together and have been isolated from each other, usually by using some form of lacquer or coating. And then once it's all together, we're gonna to clamp it together or perhaps glue it together, and that is our transformer core. The rest of the assembly that we're looking at now is simply to hold the core in position. So we can see in the section at the bottom here, that is to secure the core in the base of the transformer to make sure it doesn't move around. And we can see at the top as well, we also have this installation to secure it to the top of the tank. And again, this stops any movement of the core within the transformer casing. This type of core could be used for a dry type transformer, a hermetic type transformer, or a conservator type transformer. The design does not change that much. The only noticeable change that you will see is if you are using a single phase transformer instead of a three phase transformer like that currently shown. So now we've had a look at the transformer core, let's go and have a look at the next item on the list, which is going to be the windings. So 
So now you can see we're looking at a dry type transformer. This is a type of transformer that is not insulated by a liquid and the liquid may be oil or perhaps some sort of synthetic oil or even a biodegradable type of oil. But either way, this is a dry type transformer, also sometimes referred to as a cast resin type transformer. We can see it's got wheels on the bottom for moving it into position. And we've got these gray pieces. These are for cooling the transformer. If we go up, we can see the connections on the back of the transformer. But if we break it down into its components, we can see there are quite a lot of them. There's our core again, as we were looking at earlier. I'll see if I can actually assemble it slightly. We might see the actual shape of the core as it comes together. So you could see there, there are the straps that we were talking about earlier. These straps are used to clamp the core together. And we should be able to see the top of the core coming down at some point. Okay, the top of the core has now been installed. If you like this video, then check out the link in the video description area. The link leads to a transformer course. And if you click on that link, you'll be able to purchase the course at a special discount price. The video course is far more detailed than the information that I've given in this video. And if you really do want to learn more about transformers, including theory and maintenance, then I really do suggest you check out that link. If you like this video, then please do like it or share it on social media. It really does help us out and allows us to produce more and more content. Thanks very much for your time.